From the dashboard, you want to be in accounting and towards the bottom, you have fixed assets. If you have a fixed asset register already, on the right hand side at the top, you can import this already into Xero, or you can just click on the green button and enter new asset. From here, you enter the name of the asset, the date it was purchased, the purchase price, and then which account within Xero it needs to sit in. So as an example, <clears throat> it may be computer equipment. You can then set your depreciation when you want it to start, what method and what rate, and then you can register the asset within the register. All assets that have been registered then show on the screen and then each month <clears throat> you're able to run the depreciation as necessary. Assets will either sit in draft to be edited at a later date, under registered or if you have disposed of them they would show under this separate tab at the top. To run the depreciation you then select which months it is and confirm. This will then post the expense into your profit and loss and the corresponding side into your balance sheet. If you have to backdate an asset being added, you can roll back the depreciation and rerun it to update those figures at any point.